Africa has a lot to offer to the intrepid investor beyond, I think, the usual talk about natural resources. There are major changes going on on the continent which we believe will have a fundamental positive impact on the future of the continent and the future of those looking to invest in Africa. African economies are opening up and welcoming foreign investments and foreign investors in a way that we have not seen before. African leaders are working more now to create bigger and more competitive markets and to welcome investors from East and the West. A recent case is the East African community, which was recently inaugurated on the 1st of July, covering the five countries of Eastern Africa. Ecobank, which I lead, operates currently in 31 countries in Africa, including all the five countries of the East African community. We operate in virtually all the countries in West, Central, Eastern, and Southern Africa. And everywhere we are, we are seeing signs of an emerging Africa looking to integrate more into the global economy. Africans are more than ever before plugged into the world through mobile telephony, the internet, and satellite TV. At the same time, we're seeing the emergence of regional champions in Africa. Companies, businesses that are seeking to take advantage of the developments that are taking place on the continent. We see this in the banking industry. We see this in building materials, in insurance, in telecommunications, and in oil marketing, to mention a few. But Africa is a continent that is short of capital. And if Africa is to develop at the accelerated pace that we believe it needs to do to catch up with the rest of the developing world, then it needs to make itself more attractive and more welcoming to foreign investors, be they from the east or from the west. Africa is often in the news, not often for the right reasons, but Africa has a lot to offer that doesn't show up in the news. Africa, certainly sub saharan Africa, is one of the fastest growing regions in the world, at least according to the World Bank. It has excellent demographics. I think 50% of the population is less than 20 years old. It's highly underbanked huge opportunities in various markets other than banking, and significant, I believe, profitability for those who want to go beyond the perceptions and look at the realities on the ground. This conference, we hope, forms part of that process, that approach, to try to inform the North American market in particular, but the world in general, about the real Africa, the Africa that is emerging um, behind this perception of civil wars, of bad news that comes out of it. There is some very, very good news coming out of Africa. And we will be delighted, and we are delighted to be part of the process that brings some of that good news to your attention. So we thank you all for being here today. We're very pleased to be part of this conference, and we look forward to meeting and interacting with all of you today. Thank you very much. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.